Welcome back, and today we are going to be talking about how to get rid of those negative thoughts in your head. You will learn some different techniques on how to release those in a positive way and to get rid of them for good. So you're here today because you have negative thoughts in your head that are driving you crazy, right? We all have it. We all have these negative thoughts in our heads that really bog us down, that trap us, that keep us from achieving what we really want in our life. You have had that time when, when you've, you're really excited about wanting to do something new and you start to attempt and then those thoughts just come in. Oh, you can't do it. You're not good enough. Who do you think you are? And that those negative thoughts just stop you, right? Or you've had that wonderful success where you just achieved a great accomplishment and then all of a sudden those negative thoughts come in that, oh, well, that wasn't that great, or, well, you messed up here, or you could have done better, or, well, look at them. Who, why do you think you're so great? They have this, all this and more, right? So we all have these, these crazy negative thoughts in our head. And I remember when I first uh, started mentoring people as a professional mentor, and I had just had my first client pay me several thousand dollars to work with me, and it was an exciting moment, a very huge milestone in my success as a professional mentor. And I was thinking, wow, I just had this client from Germany pay me these several thousand dollars, and this is huge. But almost immediately after the payment went through, I started having these horrible thoughts. And I couldn't even think. I was, I was driving with my, with my wife to another city, and as we were driving, you know, I couldn't even carry a conversation with her. We were listening to an audio recording as well, and I couldn't even hear what was coming out of the, the speakers. And so I, I paused it, I turned it off, and I said to my wife, hold on, I just, I've got to take a moment to, to figure out what's going on in my head. And I had this thought come uh, to just write it down. So I, I took out my phone, and I went to the notes, and I just started writing whatever came to mind. And I wrote down the thoughts that were in my head that was so heavy I couldn't even think clearly. So I wrote down, you're not worth it. And I said in my mind, thank you. Is there anything else? You're a fraud. Thank you. Is there anything else? You were bad for asking for that much money and allowing her to pay you that. Thank you. Anything else? She is not going to get anything out of working with you. Thank you. Anything else? What you have to offer is not special. Thank you. Anything else? She knows more than you do. Thank you. Anything else? You tricked her and lied to her. Thank you. Anything else? You are a horrible person. Thank you. Anything else? You are meant to struggle financially. Thank you. Anything else? You suck. Thank you. Anything else? Good job for getting that out, Austin. Thank you. Anything else? Well done for recognizing the opposition and writing it down rather than letting it negatively affect and influence you. Thank you. Anything else? You are right on track. Emuka is going to gain a lot from working with you, and it is perfect for her and you. Thank you. Anything else? You have a lot to offer, and as you stay in tune, you will know what to say in the moment you need it. Keep moving forward. There are many more people coming your way to learn from you. And that was my experience. How many of you have this, this going on in your head, this negative bombardment where you just feel like you can't move forward and it's clogging you? What I've, what I've come to call this activity of what I just did is the judge. Because another time, a couple weeks later, as I was sitting down in a, in a group mentoring session, someone asked us again, you know, write down what are your fears, what's holding you back? And at first I'm like, oh, this is stupid. <laughs> I don't want to do this. But then I remembered this experience. I was like, wait a second. I'm just gonna write down whatever thoughts I have. So I did that same thing. What is holding me back? And then this, whatever thoughts came to mind, I wrote them down. You're not good enough. Thank you, anything else? People will think you're stupid. Thank you, anything else? You were just a bother. Thank you, anything else? You were not strong enough. Thank you, anything else? You will never make it. Thank you, anything else? 
You can't do it living where you live. Thank you, anything else. If you put yourself out there, you will be hurt. Thank you, anything else. Nobody wants you. Thank you, anything else. I hate you. Thank you, anything else. And it switched again. You were loved. Thank you, anything else. Austin, you are special. You have amazing gifts and talents and talents that do and will continue to bless the world. Thank you, anything else. You are strong. Thank you, anything else. Austin, I love you so much and I'm so proud of you. You are stepping into your greatness and are allowing your light to shine. Thank you, anything else. Keep the faith. You are supported and sur surrounded by people, both living and not, that love you and are encouraging you onward. Thank you, anything else. You are so cute. Watching you struggle forward is exciting and this is how I see you. And at that moment in my mind, I saw an image of me watching my son as he was just learning to walk, stumble, and I was just watching him so proud as a father watching my son learning to walk. And even though he stumbled, I just felt overwhelming love for him. And that's the image that came into my mind. Thank you, anything else. I love you. So the reason why I've come to call this activity the judge is because think about any good judge. They listen to both sides of the story. What kind of a judge would it be that comes into the courtroom and only listens to one side of the story? And as soon as they listen to one side, without even hearing the other, they just make their verdict and say, okay, court's out of session, guilty or innocent, without listening to both sides. That's not a good judge, right? And yet you and I both, most of the time, are only listening to one side of the story. Life is both positive and negative, and we have both thoughts in our head as well, the positive thoughts and the negative thoughts. And the negative thoughts are very forceful, and they're very obtrusive, and they just come in and, and they, they try to force us to feel a certain way. And most of the time, we just listen to that without both sides. So with this judge activity, what you do is you just write it down. Whatever the thought is, you don't judge it. You just write it down, and then you say, thank you. Anything else? And you just keep doing that until it feels complete. And you will know when it feels complete because as you saw with both of these experiences and every time I've done this since, it will switch and you'll hear the other side. And the cool thing about that is once the other side is out and you, you can look at them both, like I have evidence of that right there on my, on my notes. And I can look at them and I say, okay, there's this voice telling me this and there's this voice telling me this. Now what do I want to do with that? Which one do I want to vote for? And I get the choice to now make a decision on which one will serve me better. Where before, when I wasn't doing that, I wasn't living my life fully. I wasn't seeing all of my options. And so much of my life I was living in fear and making decisions out of a scarcity-based mindset rather than an abundant, love-based mindset that is also there. So here's my challenge to you. I encourage you, take a pad of paper or grab your phone and just write down the thought, Think and then say thank you, anything else. And do it until it feels complete. And as you have experience with this and as you start to see both sides of the story and are able to now act as a good judge in your life, please share with us your, your experiences, your successes. Comment below and share how this has worked for you. And please share this with your friends and family as well because we have a lot of not so good judges out there today. And it's time for us to take back the control which is ours and to really look at both sides and to choose for that which will serve us better. Thank you for being here with us. Now go out and be a good judge.